Hey everybody, Gnome here, server X160, the best server that there is, we're awesome on there. Anyhow, I'm here with my uh, little sprite, right here, chance it, speak, speak, good boy, here's my little sprite to do a sprite video with you today, so I figured I will give you the lowdown what I know about it, kind of how I choose my sprites and, you know, some points so you don't have any redundancy on your stat bonuses while you're there. So, without any further ado, let's get into this. So, it's in the sprite haven here. I don't know what level that it unlocks at, but, um, yeah, I don't think it's very high level. But, sprites are for end game. So, if you don't spend a lot of money on this game, or you don't play that often, don't focus so much on sprites. I'll give you kind of the lowdown of what you can do and what you kind of should do, just so that you can have some good extras helping your team, but don't go crazy, because they have some great stuff, but you have to spend a lot of money or get a lot of items to be able to get to that point. So, let's talk about each of these, and so... You come in here, what is this called? The attunement platform. You have, these are all three of your sprites that you are currently using. And so you could see I'm using the upgraded Pegasus. I got the unicorn that's more uh, rare. The Pegasus is um, above rare, the purple epic. And then I use the fox that's also epic. But if you see this little icon down here, it brings you into your pier or your, your, your tower of all your, your sprites. And as you can see, they have three of each rarity right now. And they have more coming soon at the bottom. So hopefully that'll, that'll be pretty neat later on. Maybe some new animal types. But so each sprite has things similar to a champion so they have a level they have an ascension like a star level as well and they have stats or attributes that they add to your team and a special ability so they have skills and traits that add to your team and then they have a special ability which is kinda the number one factor when deciding which of these sprites to be able to use so let's go into sprite hipparin and you'll notice it has the ascension at the top here it has the stats so it adds mine which is higher level 160 it adds almost a million uh, con to all my champs it adds a, a bunch of strength 44,000 that's really nice that's equivalent to some a few gems maybe and then also um, block that's one of the most important things about the sprites, in my opinion, because they add a, an exact amount. And right now, the block numbers are kind of low, so getting percent block isn't as important in my mind as getting the uh, straight up, um, straight up numbers. Um, sorry, my little sprite is getting anxious around other sprites that are in the park. Um, so, and then we'll look down here. We have abilities. Uh, you could train them. Uh, this one has defensive stance, and the next one unlocked at seven stars. So I'm really close to being there. As you can see, when I go under the ascension, I have 60 out of 80 to be able to upgrade, and I can't wait because, like, getting another sprite blessing is really cool because there's a lot that I want to get on there now this is a big deal when it comes to these sprite blessings that you have you can't stack the same ones so in this case I have defensive stance it increases all deployed champions block by 19,000 now if I have another sprite that's on my team that's in my active roster that also has defensive stance that adds block a certain number to block not the percentage but a certain number they will not stack the highest value I believe will be taken I haven't really done any experimentation on that so it might actually be the lowest and I don't know how um, goat games has that set up so let's continue here um, you can see the star rating I'm at uh, six star 
Level cap, that's important because as you level them, they get insane stats that add to your team. So you really, really, really want to get them leveled. And to do that, you have to send them just like your champions. Now, here's a cool one. The skill level of the skill that it has. So in our case, the skill is unstoppable and mine is level three so when attacking if the enemy target has more than 50 percent constitution so at the beginning of every battle the caster's damage dealt is increased by 15 percent that's insanely good that means at the very beginning the first 10 seconds most likely you're just going to be destroying enemies an extra 15 percent damage is a ton now look at that unlocked at nine stars the level four it's increased by 20%, so an extra 5%. I can't wait to get that too, but I could see that being a long time down the road. So as you ascend them, their skill level goes up. Now one thing I noticed is the epic uh, sprites, their skill levels jump up quicker, but it's so much harder to ascend them because you don't get the fodder for it as frequently. And so let's continue on. Then we have the level up. So that's when you get the food. This is where you apply it. You could feed it to them and it gets them up to the level cap. Just like champs leveling them up with gold after you've ascended them. And so you could see the constitution, strength, fortitude, and block all right there. Beautiful. All adds a lot of stats. So that's kind of a gist, uh, a gist of these guys. Um, and what you want to do with them. You want to just get them all leveled up to whatever cap you have, preferably. Now, another thing, as you level them up, you can, like, partially level them. Well, you don't get anything for partially leveling them. So you might as well not waste your food unless you can get to the exact whole level for the, uh, the number level. All right. So this guy's awesome. That's why I have him on my team. Let's look at the bear. Mine's not leveled up, really. Um, it looks like... Uh, I could level him up. Looks like I can't ascend him. He's got aggressive growl. He's got strength by 2.33. Um, but I don't use this guy very much. Let's give you an idea of his skill. Tenacious roar when an allied champion's constitution falls below 30% for the first time. The champion's strength resistance, which is really good actually. I've tested it. It's really nice. Is increased by 15% for 6 seconds. And as you level it up at 6 star... It goes to 20%. So, not bad. Not something I really care for. I have other ways to kind of survive. So, uh, this Sprite uh, Alopex is the lower level, lower rarity fox. And the, the thing is, when an enemy champion casts them an ult ultimate skill, which happens a lot, all allied champions have a 50% chance to restore 6% of their max con. With it later going to 8% and then I assume like 10% and so on. That's really good because when they cast an ultimate skill. And look, there's no cooldown. So like all five enemies, especially if they're casting their ults like often. A 50% chance to restore a large part of their max constitution. That's really good. Now think about this with champions like um, Askabar. Like... Six or eight or ten percent of Mel Askavarg's constitution is a ton, so that's a huge hill every time an ultimate skill's going off. So, since Mel Askavarg doesn't have any way to heal himself, and maybe if you don't have a healer on your team, maybe you're not running with Mel Water and Sun, maybe it's for a second team or something. You could maybe go with this sprite to kind of give you that extra healing if you don't have a healer. Like female Galabar, female Ho, etc. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Oh, Awakened Sprite Hippo Ran. This one's awesome. This is one of my favorite. All allied champions' active skills and ultimate skills deal 13% more damage. It's not at the beginning of the game. It's not when something happens. It's just straight up. Active skills and ultimate skills, 13% more damage. I'm all about that. That helps water and sun. It helps just about every assassin you might have. And then check it out what I have. I have this aggressive growl, which is 
Increases all deployed champion strength by 5.63%. This was a really tough one to get. And so, oh yeah, I want to tell you about the training. When you come in to train them, this is where you can get different uh, abilities. And each one, like I said, starts with one. Some of them you have to kind of ascend a couple times before you get them. And they can have up to three abilities each. And the abilities get insanely good with some of them being class specific so warriors get this ability or whatever we'll go over a couple of them i think there's a list of them around here somewhere anyhow um so you can train and then you can replace if you want so you have the ability on the left and as you train it costs gold and it costs one of these weird little dillies uh like these vials i have 334 of them you can see up in the top right so those are all just chances that you can get an awesome new ability. Now, I've done it enough that it says right here, train 37 more times for a 21% chance to get a rare blessing. So what the point of this is, is it keeps people from just constantly retraining over and over and over because they become more expensive. Let me give you an example. Under my rare one, if you go to training, see how it costs ten thousand gold, or sorry, hundred thousand gold, and it costs two of the vials, and so and look at the reset cost, thirteen days. So before I can, before it charges me just one vial again, I have to wait thirteen more days, like two weeks, for that to happen. So. I I don't like to spend two. I don't I'm a cheap to play player. I've spent maybe 150 bucks on this game or something. Uh and so I don't really like to drop two every time. Even though I have 334 and there's like a 10% chance to get a rare, I'd rather just wait, have a little patience, you know. It, it'll pay off in the long run. And so let's let's go back to to where we were. The Awakened Sprite Hipparan. And let's go to Train. And probably I'm not going to get another Strength Percent that's higher than 5.63 to be able to replace that. Um, that's just so good. And you could see the little bar underneath it there. 20% is the max you can have. So I got 25% of the max you can have on this. And I'm okay with it. Uh, I think for now, because I don't want to spend, you know, anything. But here, we'll go ahead and hit a couple trains so you guys can see what it's like. So, there's a... Uh, and you can see the rating for each, each skill. Mine's 281. This new one is 167. And that increases all strength by a set number, not a percentage. Which is way worse, but... The more abilities we unlock, see them floating around the sprite up at the top, the more we will have to get those because they don't stack. So we're going to have to branch out eventually to this, but we don't need it now. Here, I'll do a couple more. There's a Fortitude, rating 73, no thanks. Block, 16,000. My other block on my other sprite is better than this one. It has a strength set number. Strength by 25,000. And see, that's a 128 rating. So I won't even mess with that. So let's go to the next sprite, the bear, the awakened. And it is each time allied champions take ultimate skill damage, which happens a lot with male water and sun, their strength resistance is increased by 10% for three seconds. And that's level one. That's really, really, really good. And I don't need that defense on my team right now, else I would get that. But look at it at, at three star. It's 14% strength resistance. Like, that's really good. So if I needed defense, I'd probably throw him on my team. Or if I just had him really highly ascended or leveled. Because you kind of got to go with what you're given as well. If you're not given any of the bears from your random drawings and all that stuff, then... What's the point of, you know, trying to aim for that one? So with my sprites, I kind of just focused on the ones that are highest. I used the, the original Sprite Hipparan, which is six star. I used the Awakened, which is only three, as you can see. And then, and you want the highest level because you get the best stats from that. So, and then this one's only 80. I used the Awakened Sprite Alopex, 
which the ability is all allied champions in the front row take 10% less damage. So all your tanks and stuff. Or, in my case, my casters. And all allied champions in the back row deal 10% more damage within the 15 second start. So that's really nice. As you upgrade, it goes to 13% for both of them. I like this one a lot, but sadly it's the lowest level. And so if you look at just the stats on it, like, oh, only 2.7k like strength added my other one's like 44,000 this is such a small fraction and that's why it kind of encourages you even though you love the abilities it might just be best to go with whatever sprites that you can level the highest so keep that in mind and all right and then so at the very top if you hit this at the bottom right it takes you back up to the top this allows you to pick what three sprites you want on your team to use in every battle. So, I use these three. I like them a lot. And again, this is just a quick little sprite video. I want to emphasize also that you can't... None of the, the trained skills stack. So, don't get two strength percents because it's not going to stack. Don't get two block numbers and because they're not going to stack with each other don't get uh so for my third one by the way i didn't mention this uh i put the ability unstoppable conviction which is max constitution percent so i got 4.18 which isn't the best the rating on it isn't the best like here we'll, we'll train a little bit while i got you here since we want to get this full video get everybody what they need Whew, it's cold here i can't believe it see kind of out of park all right, here we go. Let's do some training. No, nope, Max Con, rating 60. And see this one. Oh, actually, I have a really high chance to get a rare on on this sprite too. So fortitude. Basically, you could zoom through them. So here's the strength. It's the ratings half of what I got. Almost not worth it. So Max Con 2.45. Nope. And see, I, if I train 12 more times, then I'll be knocked up to a 28% chance to get a rare blessing. That's awesome. I think I'm at 15% right now on this on this uh, one. So 15% to get a rare. I haven't been really hitting them hard right now. But I got a lot of these potions. So let's see if we can get something that's really awesome. So basically, if I get a better of any of the three stats uh, that I'm going for, strength percent... Um, uh, oh, sorry, strength percent, and then, um, also, uh, con percent, and then, uh, block straight numbers. And as I open up more of those, um, skills and traits, I'll be able to do other things as well. So let's do a few more. Here's a strength percent. But what I do is if it's better than any of the ones that I currently have, I replace it on here and then it opens me up on the other one to be able to start going randomly. I don't really focus on fortitude. There's a couple with not that high ratings. So again, just gonna go through this a bit. There's another fortitude with 199. Max con straight numbers uh, like almost 550,000. I prefer the percentages because like when you're up in the hundreds of millions like you really need a percent not a straight number. So we'll continue, we'll continue, fortitude. Okay see now it's taken two potion vials per attempt so I'm not going to even attempt with that anymore. I'd rather just gain them up. And so who was my last one that I think this guy, okay he still has it at one. Let's see if we can get anything that I would actually replace this awesome strength percent with. I don't think that there is. And I'll go again until I get to the two vials per. So this is strength by 2.93, which isn't bad. Like I said, I started with those. But see how you have to train so many times till you can get a chance at... See, there's a 206... Wow, block percent by 8.62. Look at that. That's like really, really nice. And if I had another opening, I would take it. But I'm sorry, I'm not replacing my strength percent with that. It's it's not worth it. 
There's a 3.45 strength. Hey, my little sprite, stay over here. Why are you rolling in the grass? Alright. And as soon as I get the two vials, I'll go ahead and stop on this one as well. And then I'll have 13 more days before I'll be able to do this again. But I have a ton of the vials, so it doesn't make me feel too bad. Look at that, 35,000 strength. Not horrible. If I, like I said, if I had the room or if I wanted to actually replace this. There's a 42%. That's really nice, almost 5%. I would take any any percent if if it was better than you know like i said it's hard to replace the strength so mostly this is just this is my last ditch sprite to get something insanely good because like maybe i just get the lottery and maybe i get like 10 percent strength that's kind of or maybe if it was con percent too i would maybe go with that like, there's an insanely good block percent, strength, 26,000, uh, fortitude, block percent, more fortitude. And so, by the way, I have a much higher chance, to, because you could see my higher chance to get rare popped over on this one. So, we do have a higher chance, but it doesn't seem to be happening that often. Basically, any green ability is not going to be even worth it. So I just have to kind of cruise through these. But you want to do these every time your one vial is up. Like, you want to check them out. Like, that block is better than my other block, I think. And if it just would have been on my other champ, then I or the other sprite, I would have got it. Like, look at that! Bam! 4.17%, baby. I'm, I won't take it's less than what I got, but like that's really nice. It's a shame they just don't stack. It really is, but that's how they made it. I think people did some experimentation. I looked on uh, Discord and some people were saying that it doesn't stack. So if that's different, or you can correct me by all means. There's Fortitude, Max Con 492. Oh, yeah, look, I, I should be getting a very... Oh, we're at two now. See, two vials. I'm going to quit. 210 vials left. I think that's a, a good place to kind of stop that. And this is my little sprite video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment or post or reach out on, uh, to me on Discord or on server x160 and uh, i'll be pumping out some more fun videos and we'll do some good stuff and i'll be saying bye to you and i'll let my my sprite who's chewing on his stick uh say bye to you as well all right gnome out